Hey, how's it going? This is gonna be my first video of the new series that's basically for the Source Filmmaker tutorials. And this first video will be all about making a simple but a beautiful poster. So yeah, let's just jump into the Source Filmmaker. Alright, so the first thing you do is to name the session. So I'm gonna name it as Tutorial, then press Create. Right click on the viewport, go to render settings, uncheck motion blur, go to 1024 override, click OK. Now <coughs> you gotta load a map. So for now I'm gonna use in the 24 night map. It's a custom map, you can download it from the Steam Workshop. And make sure that it's selected on BSP files. Ok now just click on it and press OK. Now we're just gonna wait for it and I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back when it gets loaded. Looks like the map is loaded. <coughs> Sorry. Now you just gotta go to your work camera by clicking on it on both the viewports. Go to the from the motion editor to the I mean from the clip editor to the motion editor like this and by using WASD just move the camera like this. I mean, you have to hold that right mouse button to like move the camera. Now, just you gotta find a nice camera position, like a place where to place the camera. So, I'm thinking this is a nice position. Now, you got to spawn a camera. For that, click this arrow, go to chain scene camera, new camera. Okay, now when the camera is loaded, you can now move the camera, zoom it with the mouse wheel and R to rotate it. This looks good. Now you gotta spawn a model. For that, right click on the animation set model and go to create animation for a new model. Click on it. Wait for the models to load. Now <coughs> as I've got tons of models so it, it may take some time. But yeah, now uh, We'll be doing the poster for Scout. Yeah, for Scout. So type Scout here. Scroll down, and there are two models of the Scout. One is the TF model, and second is the TF TF Movies model, which is called the HWM model. The I recommend using HWM models because these models have better textures, that's all. So yeah, <coughs> click on it, press open, and you see the <coughs> the character is spawned. Now go to your work camera and place the model. Press shift to make it come on the ground. Alright. Now you gotta pose it. There are two kinds of posing. One is the manual posing, which you can do with this with his bones, like hold control, you can see all his bones. Click on any bone and you can rotate it and do different kinds of stuff. But and also control plus Z to undo. Yeah. Or the second method that I recommend for the beginners is to right click on it and go to import animation to sequence here and click on it these are some custom poses so we're gonna take the selection menu pose see just simply uh, this is the pose I think yeah see here's the pose and alright yeah here there you go. <coughs> Click open. There. Let's see. It's posed. Now you gotta add a scatter gun. For that, uh, there was a new update. Thank God. And so slow maker that allows you to add models really quickly. Like right click on it, go to add team fortress items, click on it, 
type scatter and there you go scatter run press ok there you go the scatter run is here and now we're gonna add some hats and unusual effects So yeah, <clears throat> now the scout is dressed up and it's time to add some unusual effects, okay? Now right click here, go to create animation set for new part, it'll system, create on it. Here there's a window, now click on browse. Okay, now this is the file, it's a downloadable file, I'll put the link in the description. It basically has all the unusual names. Fits okay, like if there's burning, so there's not like super rare underscore burning, it's simply like burning, so it's easy, yeah, right? So just click open, scroll down. I'll be going for a scorching, yeah, I love scorching, so just scroll down. Uh, damn, okay, there's scorching, or should I keep let's go with the scorching one. I guess now just click and remove this five and put 99 same with the portal system like if time okay now press ok now you just gotta add these this effect to the hat for that just click on this plus sign and click on this plus sign again and same for the B brother to scout one click on that go to body and take this head and put it here on this press this and scroll the zero slider to the fullest sorry now it's done you I'm sorry you just gotta go back in the timeline come back come here and look the effect is there and it's not looking good just let me put the purple energy one So this looks pretty cool, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna reposition the camera, zoom in a little bit. This looks good. <sighs> so now you just gotta reposition the eyes. Click on start, go to up, out here, left and right make it a little angry so click on the frown and increase the slider there you go go to emotions and make him like you know he's he's not smiling he's an evil small happy small no it's not evil it's not evil just make him small Alright. There you go. Let's let's go. Now you just gotta <coughs> uh let's see what we can do. Yeah. Put some lights. Right click on it, go to light. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll do that again. Right click on it, create animation set for new light. Click on that light, put it in the second review port so that you can control the light. Okay. Now we're gonna go and put one light in the left like this and do some in intensity make it a little lower like this something like this yeah and now spawn another light and put it like this something I don't know. Yep. Without the intensity. Alright. One more light at the back. Or on the top. Whichever, but in this case, I'll be going for the bat light. 
All right. Uh, hmm. This is good. Now you just gotta color the lights. Click on the light one. Scroll down. Make it uh, a little purplish or something. Let's see. You gotta test these yourself, like experiment, and you'll see you'll find some suitable things, suitable settings for your poster. All right, this looks good. Now it's time for the camera settings. Right click on it, go to create animation sets for existing elements, and choose camera one. Click OK. There you go. Now you have to what's basically focal view, focal distance is like it blows the thing in the background and focuses a character or thing. So in this case, I'll focus this scout and blur the background. And how that basically works is that this pink sector should be at his half of his face, like till here. Yep. Uh, 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 Okay, like this. Okay, and leave the right click button. Then increase the aperture. This is the blur thingy that if the aperture is low, the blur will be low. If the aperture is high, the blur will be high. And this. So we will just keep and too much. And by the way, too much. Of, I mean, the aperture makes the pit look unreal so I recommend it using like one fourth of the slider like this this looks pretty decent and realistic now go to SSAO bias increase it around again one fourth and then SSAO strength to more than half like something like this okay I won't be going into the depth of these things, but you can just Google those things. I'm just gonna tell you how to make a basic poster. And now the SSO radius. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah. So yeah, just increase the radius. I mean, basically decrease the radius to the left hand side, and do it a little bit like this. All right. It's now good to go. Now you want to see how the poster. I mean, the pit looks. You just gotta go in the timeline and go to motion editor. Uh, sorry, the clip editor. Then go here and wait for it to load. And there you go. See, it looks pretty decent. So now it's good. I think I should increase the aperture a little bit, like this maybe. Now it's good to render. <laughs> for that, click on the file main file thing. Go here. Go export, go poster, and click on save and format. Go to PNG, and this is basically the file image size. You can do whatever size you want. I prefer 1920 to 1080. So, yeah, now this menu is for like where do you want to. I mean render the pit so this is my SFM posters folder it will go here name it and I'm gonna name it tutorial and save and export poster now you just gotta wait it and I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when it gets rendered alright this is basically pit monkey uh, it's an online editing software and I usually use this and um, sometimes Magic Bullet or Photoshop. I'm gonna tell you how to improve it using PitMonkey. This is really good. Okay, trust me. Tutorial: Just find your pit, a PNG format one, and there you go. This is the rendered pit. Okay. Oh, facial expressions. Kind of awkward. But it's alright. You can just adjust it. But let's say it came pretty well. So now you just gotta go to exposure, increase the contrast to make it look a little brighter. I just like it, and then do increase the shadows to make it look a little darker. It increases the light, 
okay and it freezes the dark things so yeah there uh, that's basically it's going doing yeah this looks good apply it go here effects now click on orphan mm. uh, I suggest using it for like 85 that's good go to cross process and don't use it too much uh, like 85 of it it's alright it's just good to go use dust again 90 or 85 uh, I'll say 90 it's good now for a, a little bit of realistic touch you can add some dark edges it's always good but not too much like till 85 or something it just creates a little bit of dark edges apply it. and that's pretty much it well, there's a ton lots of settings right here but as I've told you this is just a simple and a beautiful poster so yeah I think this came out pretty well if you have any watermark or something just like me so you can add it like, uh, with mine here you can just add it make it smaller and put it right there see and the pick is done just save it and the quality should be seen it just looks good that's all so yeah that was pretty much it and this is how the output looks <coughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll be doing more tutorials more basic tutorials and so for that please do subscribe to my channel please comment below if you got any issues or problems and take care